All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Beta. Learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 19. All right. So we need to split our str in our string into individual characters. Uh, we can use the split method for this. That's true. Uh, the split method splits a string into an array of substrings and returns the new array. We can pass in additional, pardon me, we can pass in an optional separator, which tells the method where each split should happen. We'll get into this in a second. I've got that up and right here. Uh, for example, passing an empty string into the split method will split the string into an array of individual characters. Very true. So we've got this uh, const str equals hello world. We have str array equals str.split, right? And we split it by this empty string. Basically, it's splitting it by the spaces in between the characters, right? So it's breaking them down into each character has its own um, element like that. Uh, so let's come over here to split method so we can get a little more deep into it. Uh, so we've got the split method JavaScript in the Google line. It'll definitely pull up the MDM web docs uh, first off, unless this is like 2027 and they went broke or something. Who knows? Anyway, so let's come over here. So we've got string.prototype.split. <laughs> we don't need to know about the prototype yet. We'll learn about that stuff later. But uh, the split method of string values takes a pattern and divides this string into an ordered list of substrings by searching for the pattern, putting the substrings into an array and returning the array, right? So we'll see right here, we've got the string and it's the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, right? And so we've got uh, words equals str.split and this one's splitting it by the spaces, right? So when we do words at three, zero, one, two, three, it'll give us fox because it's splitting them. Um, let's run it. It'll give us fox because it's splitting them by each word. It's so the pattern we're using is the spaces. Here's the empty strings right here. So uh, the empty string right here. So it's splitting each character into its own thing. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, zero. What? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, K right there, right? And then uh, this one is just has no, uh, no, nothing in it. And so it's just like putting it in an array. So it's like, honestly, this way is absolutely pointless uh, because you could just wrap any string in its own array anyway, right? So that's just how that works. So let's come back over here. Uh, we're going to split this. We're going to split this string past into the clean input string function into an array of individual characters and assign it to a variable named str array, right? So let's start off by saying let str array equal, uh, and then we'll do str.split, and we'll split it by the spaces in between the characters, right? Let's uh, cap it off with a semicolon. Let's come down here and do console.log. And we'll do uh, str array like that. Let's open up the console over here and let's come down here to 12, come down to 13 and say uh, clean. Let's actually, what am I doing? Let's get this right here, uh, pick it up, drop it off, wrap this str in a uh, set of quotes like this. And we see we've got str thusly, all right? Uh, my preferred method of of doing this because I it's just so much more typing and I don't know I think it's pointless like when you're act when we're doing it by the empty strings uh, I think it's pointless I think split is better off if we do it like let's say string space blah, space blah, space blah, blah blah right we would split it like this I think when it's actually using a pattern it's good to use the split but when we're not we might as well just do something like this uh, we might as well just wrap this up in some brackets and put uh, dot, whoops, 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 dot, dot, dot in front of it. And you see it does it just as well. Uh, but that's, this is spread syntax and we'll go into that later. But for now, let's just leave it like this because you know it, we're not gonna be able to uh, go to the next one if we don't, all right? So let's get rid of all this stuff, leave it like that, check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 20 and we'll see you next time.